This is code.org. I have an awesome game that I'm not that good at. I should have said, oh, 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 oh wait, 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 that was sad. All right. So when the obstacle, uh, if you don't have stuff, if you don't have a game, if you don't have something like this, go back and do the other parts of tutorials on those if you don't get it. When the obstacles move off the screen, they should loop back to the other side. Do this. Find the code for looping. Add conditional that checks the horizontal op X is obstacle if it's off the screen. Reset its property to loop back to the other side of the screen. Set the Y property to a random number. Test your go to make sure it loops. Add a conditional that checks the vertical obstacles. Y. Yep. And okay, this is all making sense. Now, first, though, I need to make sure my obstacles are moving. So I need to do a velocity. Oh, we have that velocity. Right. Now I need to make sure they're looping. Okay, so we, it's just that I die so fast, you can't tell, but they're moving. Look. Ah, ah. All right, maybe I need them to move faster as well. So I'm going to speed them up, actually. Let's do a five and a five. Now I need them to loop. So what I have to do, how do we make something loop? Well, I need to check if it is off the screen. So let me go down here and notice what I just said, if, 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 if. So you should be screaming conditional, which is under control. So let's see. Wait, what's this? Decrease the X velocity. Oh, I can put it under this handy thingies. Cool. Look, it's under comments now. That makes sense. Oh, it's pretty. Okay. Um, reset. Nope. Make obstacle push. Nope. Draw. Nope. Where's my comments? Looping. Okay, so when it's off the screen. So if what? Well, I have an obstacle one. So if obstacle one, how do I know if it's off the screen? Well, what properties do they have? We know what it starts at. We know an XY location for obstacle one. I start mine at negative 100 and 200 Y. So like way back here, 200 Y. Well, notice if I start mine at 100, where's obstacle one when I hit play or run? Oh, well, now it's going to be mad at me, but it's off the screen because it's negative 100. Well, we can check for that. So if obstacle one is off the screen, well, when would it be off the screen? What if it had an X value? See how it's 400 X right near? What about an X value of 500? Would it be on the screen still? No. If it had an X value of 500, it must be way over here in outer space somewhere, right? So let's try this out. If obstacle one's x value is greater than i'm gonna say 430 450 we just want to make sure it's off the screen what do i want to do then well i don't need to change its speed because i already know we set the velocity way up here and that's like setting cruise control so my speed will still be five i don't need to change its speed i need to change its location well where do i start it to make sure it's off the screen and out of the way where do i actually start the obstacle like i said i started mine at negative 100 why don't I put it back there? Why don't I say, okay, if you go off this side of the screen, you're going back to this side of the screen, except you're starting off the screen. So it looks like you are infinite, which is, um, by the way, how they do Flappy Bird. So uh, let's grab another sprite X and say, if it's greater than 400, obstacle one dot X is going to be equal to, and I think I said negative 100 for a starting point. Let's see. Now I just have to stay alive long enough which is kind of a challenge if you're me. Oh, and there it goes. All right. So now same principle for the other obstacle, except this time it is Y. So I need an if. Now I'm not going to be checking if it's greater than 450. I'm going to be checking now. Well, I might be for Y. It starts at zero Y right up at the top. And then what's Y way down here? Y is 400 when you go down here. So that would mean if obstacle two dot y is greater than 400 what does that mean it's off the screen so what do we want to do well i want to place it back up here now my starting point for obstacle 2 was a bit different the y value right because that's what we're worried about i don't care about the x value i'm going to leave it alone at this second um we can randomize it set its y yep and it looks like they'll ask us to but for now i just want to make sure it starts up above off the screen so let me set its y value to negative 50 like it does when it originally starts perfect and now what's it say set its y
Yeah, so for this, for the x one, we're going to give it a random y value up here somewhere between 50 and 300. All right, so now we need to do that. And that makes sense. So inside of this if, where we say if you're off the screen, we're going to push you back over here x, y's. And then we're going to do sprite y value. y value is going to be a random number. And then they say 50 to 350. The reason they say 50 to 350 is so it stays on the screen. Ah, uh, I need to get better at this. So it's now going to randomize. It will always go back here the second it's off the screen, but it should randomize its Y value. There we are. And now there we are. And so the reason it's 50 to 350, though, is because it starts getting drawn from the center. And this is going to have the potential to be partially off the screen if I do it this way. Ah! <laughs> this is already kind of fun. I'm so bad. Oh, but you saw it there, right? Can I go? Not fast enough. Okay, but it could be off the screen. So we're going to leave it at 50 and 350. And now all we have to do is do this for the x value down here, because we're going to leave y the same. We want it to start off the screen, but we randomize where it is for an x. So going over to sprites, going to grab x. obstacle2.x and then we need to do the same thing math and a random and then we're going to do 50 to 350 ah! and we kind of saw it <laughs> i need to get better at this game Ooh! i need cheats enable the cheats okay let's make sure we have it yes yes Yes. And you can see how those are going. Yeah, awesome. So it looks like we do have it all. And keep in mind, it's going to keep randomizing no matter what. But what's happening with our if statement is any time this is true or this is true, this code inside of it runs. So our obstacle doesn't go to negative 50 unless it is greater than 450x. Then it goes to negative 50 negative 100x and random y value somewhere same thing with this our obstacle does not obstacle 2 does not go to the top unless it is already off the screen greater than 400 back up here random x and so now we have the makings of a game that i'm not very good at. i'm still alive i'm still alive i'm still alive i'm still i'm uh, no come back awesome all right well i think what's next is our coin animation thing Onward!